Hello everyone, welcome back to my basketball clinic. This is the seventh video in the series, and today we're going to be working on putting those things that we learned in the previous lesson onto one move called a dribbling sequence. Now let's recap on some of the moves we worked on last time. So we had the cup drill, right, the behind the back drill, and the spider drill, remember? Now this first move does not actually include any of the things we worked on in the past video, but it's still very useful. You'll see it in almost every basketball game. This move is called the in and out. It gets you space from the defender and the added bonus of an open lane to score on. So the first step in an in and out move is to grip the ball with your dominant hand, my right hand. Then you're gonna dribble like it's a crossover, except in the, between the crossover, you reach over with that same dominant hand, have throw it over, and then cut back. Now when I do this, it brings the defender over there, right? But little do they know that once I bring it back, I have a wide open lane to myself because they're all the way over there. So if you can do it quickly enough, that's an easy layup, right? So in order to get really good at that, cross over like that, take it back, do a drill, simple like this, cross over, bring it back, cross over, bring it up, then you can speed up like this. Now once you have all those motions down, it should look something like this. Okay, now this drill includes going through the legs, right? So what you're gonna do for this drill is you're gonna carry the ball in your non-dominant hand, my left hand, and you're gonna go cross key, so around the basket, right? Now once you're dribbling around, all of a sudden, you just wanna pull uh, between the legs with your non-dominant hand, right? And that'll send the defender a little bit farther that way, and it gives you a window to shoot a jump shot. Now all together, it looks something like this. Now there are some um, differences to this trail, right? So instead of carrying it with your non-dominant hand, then going through the legs like this, some people carry it with their dominant hand, put it behind the back of their legs, catch it with their non-dominant hand, then shoot. But whatever you're most comfortable with, you should do. Now this last move is called a hesitation. Right, a hesitation in basketball is when you're in between your dribbling sequence, you pause for a quarter to a half a second. That gets your defender off guard. They, they have to stop, they have to readjust to guard you at that point. But right as they get up to you and they readjust, recognize that you're stationary, you go, you get them off guard. Now the tricky part in a hesitation is making it so that it's long enough that the defender has to readjust, but it's short enough that it's not called a travel. Because if I pick it up for maybe more than a second or maybe even a second, that can be called as a carry, right? And then it results in a turnover. But if I only do it for a quick second, nothing will happen. The defender won't realize that I did that. And so it's not very effective. So you gotta make sure you get it right in the middle. So just practice dribbling, hesitation, right? And start dribbling again. Dribble, hesitation, dribble again. All right, here's how it should look. All right, that's all we're gonna work on for today. Make sure to practice now. See you next week. Bye.